name is Doug Simmers, and I'm product manager for combustion analyzers at Rosemont Analytical, which is one of the Emerson Process Management uh, team members. Uh, oxygen has been used in any combustion process for many decades to control fuel air ratio and operate safely. Uh, this would be boilers or furnaces. Today I'd like to talk about a particular application that has challenges of its own. This is catalyst regeneration in the refining industry. One of the first processes in a refinery is distillation, where they separate different molecules based on their boiling points. So ethane would come off first, and then heavier components and heavier components until you end up with asphalt. Okay. This process is very similar to what a moonshiner would use when he boils the alcohol off of his mash. However, the distillation process has been designed to be continuous, so it runs continuously for several years and shuts down only for maintenance purposes. These heavier components that are left over, particularly cycle oil or naphtha, uh, can be broken apart further by using a catalytic cracking process. Here we have a bed of catalyst material, which looks much like this. It's a zeolite type of catalyst. And the hot, heavier liquids are trickled down over this bed, and then they break apart into more valuable components, such as gasoline. One of the, the restrictions in the catalytic cr cracking process is the fact that the catalyst gets coked up over time. Here we can see coke beginning to build up on the catalyst, and what it does is it reduces the amount of surface area that is available for reacting these heavier components. So the catalyst needs to be regenerated from time to time. And here we have a photograph of some badly coked catalyst, okay, that uh, as you can see it probably is losing its reactivity. The uh, regeneration of catalyst is oftentimes a bottleneck in the refining process that limits the throughput and the amount of money that a facility can make. So here again we have the, the, the original graphic. A portion of the catalyst can be continuously routed over to a regeneration tower where the hot air is presented to the catalyst material and the coke is burned off. In a, in, in a complete burn regeneration process, an oxygen analyzer can be inserted directly into the flue gas outlet out of the regenerator and um, uh, controlled to ensure that just the right amount of uh, coke has been burned off of the catalyst before it's rerouted again back into the regenerator. Uh, the product, after it has been broken apart, is again distilled in something called a fractionator, which is very much like the original distillation column. The amount of catalyst that can be regenerated is really tons per second, so they're really moving a lot of material uh, in a fluidized motion, hence the term fluidized catalytic cracking. There's a couple challenges when we do this. A lot of times these uh, regeneration units operate at a higher pressure, okay? And uh, with an in-situ type of product, you may have to, if you have an instrument failure, you may have to get it out while the process is running, okay, under pressure and under temperature. Temperatures can be as high as around 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is an isolation valving system and also a pressure balancing system that compensates for the pressure the isolation valve permits you to get the probe in and out okay, while the unit's operating. In a partial burn regeneration process, they don't burn all the coke off, they just volatilize some of it. So some CO comes off, some CO2 comes off, and some oxygen comes off. So in this process, we use an extractive type of system where we draw a sample off, uh, remove the water vapor, remove the particulate, and, uh, and then place it into analyzers that are usually placed in cabinets or sometimes even a house at the base of the, of the process unit. Another process is uh, uh, a continuous catalyst regenerator, um, uh, which is depicted here. In this process, we're controlling the amount of oxygen going into the regeneration to a very tight number, somewhere around 1%. Here we have an in-situ probe mounted into the side of the pipe of the, uh, of the CCR unit. This has been a, a brief overview of regenerating catalyst uh, or improving the regeneration of catalyst through the use of an in-situ oxygen analyzer. Thank you very much.